everybody. Welcome to the Drifter Team developer stream. I am CG, the community manager, and joining us today we have Brian, the creative director and founder here at Drifter, Hunter, executive producer, Gwen, game designer, and uh, yeah, today we're going to be showing you a little sneak peek at what is coming in the next Pistol Party update. Pistol Party update. Hyphen, very important. <laughs> <laughs> you you want you need that pun recognition. <laughs> yes. I think I think uh, uh, everybody uh, you know should should thank you for all the wonderful puns that you've you've snuck into our game. It's a uh, it's pretty great. That's that's what I'm here for, right? Mm hmm. We're we're doing a challenge run this week. It's a little different for our stream. It is, and as Lotus, uh, we're playing together. It's not just solo anymore. Oh, dang. New feature. What? Co-op challenge runs. <laughs> um, uh, oh, man. I'm like the lowest level. And I don't have all of my hero hit list stuff finished. So I'm going to try to... Not only am I going to dominate this challenge run, but I'm also going to try to unlock a few more of my hero hit list things. I think I'm going to try to do a, a shotgun build. And maybe maybe do like try to do a mono color build so I can get one of these guys. That's my that's that's gonna be what I'm gonna attempt. Alright, uh, uh, CG, what's the special thing we're doing today with the challenge? And today the team is gonna be trying extra hard to set a high score because we are doing a community challenge where you have to try to beat the dev's score. So next week when this uh, new challenge mode goes live, um, we're going to tell you, if, in case you missed it on the stream, what the score to beat is. And you have to try to beat the devs to get a special emblem. And let me uh, show you what this emblem is going to look like. So it's so cute. It's a great emblem. Kenneth, our art director, whipped up something special just for this. Adorable. It's a little, little drifter with a balloon. Love it. I want but that. I want that emblem. What what emblems do I? I I got. I as this this account has got nothing. You have a lack of emblems. I know. I need to get my act together, man. <clears throat> All right. Well, should we uh, should we jump into this? Get, get yeah, a good attempt. Let's do it. All right. And, uh, we'll obviously have other cool new things to show along the way for this update. I'm trying to be better about not giving everything away in like the first five minutes. Yeah, we've got an agenda now because you know we're we're That's professionals right. here. <laughs> Okay. That's right now. That you can talk about right now, which is uh, how characters are stored in between sessions now, right? Yeah, um, so um, the last character you played is now stored locally, so whenever you do a new session, um, it'll auto-select to the last character you played. I just, I just took angel food cake like a fool. <laughs> We're trying to get oh, a good... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. I'm really good at this game, guys. Oh, Don't God. even worry. Giving ourselves as many tries as it takes within this stream, by the way. So if we die in room one, we're going to try again, and it, it still counts. Yeah. It's, it's the highest score. Hmm. Should I... If I'm going going for a monocolor build, should I go with barriers or xenos? Um, I think xenos would be pretty good for you. All right. Go with barrier. Let's, let's go with Zenos. I got Zeno melee, which is satisfying. I wasn't going to eat any snacks because I feel like that's uh, kind of not fair with the score trying to get set, but then Brian ate tough taffy, so I got some. Oh man, I always use snacks. That's like core part of the game. Gotta eat those snacks. 
Yeah, I guess if you need them. Psh. I do. Didn't have to call me out like that. <laughs> well, especially for this, because this is an all new um, challenge, correct? Yeah, this is yes. an all new challenge. And it's not an easy one. Welcome to the Fleshscape. SMG ain't got nothing. With the new challenge run, also, uh, we've got some new mutators as well, right? Yeah, um, because you're bad at planning, uh, this one doesn't actually have those new mutators. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's three new mutators. Um, one of them is challenge run only, um, called Scrapped which makes Scrap move slow and not count for points. That's a really interesting effect on Alendren since you're kind of incentivized to skip Scrap rather than farm them. Until you need a juice tank. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hey, we're, we're, we're burning I'm, daylight. I know, go. I'm going, Let's I'm going, go. I'm going. I get distracted with shooting. Not this time around, you gotta go fast. Thanks, Gwen, for setting off the overdrive right before we teleport together. My You're favorite. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, that made Brian do it too. <laughs> yep. In the no shotguns yet. Um. Yeah. So there's there's scraps. Um. There is. Um, allergic reaction. Um, uh, allergic reaction makes your armor deplete over time um, if you haven't dealt damage within 10 seconds. So you got to keep damaging things uh, and move a little bit faster. Um, otherwise, your armor is going to just get stripped down. Um, that will eat through Ronin's overshield as well. So uh, even if you have stored energy, um, that makes it so that your overshield doesn't actually deplete. It'll still deplete with allergic reaction, so you gotta keep keep the damage up. Um, that one can show up as part of uh, regular runs, um, as well as it'll be um, rotating into challenge mode um, here in a couple weeks. Um, and uh, I'm gonna kill some scrap before I explain the last one. This environment is so good. Just like looks so cool. All of, all of the grass and stuff. Oh god. DMR, if anybody wants that. Or do you already have a DMR? Uh, I've got a commander's pistol. There's a melee and auto thing over here if anybody wants one of those. Do I? I want melee. I'll take the DMR. I'll keep doing the objectives so that we uh, save time. I got myself a shotgun, so now my now I'm whole. Oh, this mission is so much easier with more people. Ow! <laughs> In Grapnel. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot the big one's competent now. 
Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I made them smart. That is an upcoming change as well. Yeah. He lit me up pretty good. Okay, yeah, so the big mega pistol used to just kind of, I don't know, shoot wherever it wanted because uh, Brian did that. And yeah, then Gwen went back and just recently fixed it. So now it shoots at you. I'll do, uh, do ice. Okay. A little force ice hybrid build. Um. Now head to the teleportal. And there was one more mutator, right? Uh, critical yeah. Mass. Yeah, critical mass. Um, uh, critical mass is uh, actually very similar to a skill that's on Nomad um, as well. Uh, Crits deal plus 45% damage, and non-crits deal minus 35% damage. So it's it's a uh, one that's focused on being a little bit more tactical shootery, focusing on the crits. Um, yeah, and that one will also be uh, available on regular runs, so it'll be showing up alongside dying hurt, snare damage, all of those, um, and like uh, like allergic reaction and scrap, they'll start to be. Uh, moving into the challenge runs in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. Very nice, going quick so far, under five minutes. <laughs> SC guys, easy. Easy, easy. 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 Gonna crush it. Those, like, gross zit things or whatever. Shoot the squishy parts. Okay. Oh, One down, pretty quick. Ads coming in. Yeah. Going after Gwen. Uh, he's following you in there, Gwen. Jesus. Oh, my health. Oh, God. Ah. You guys, come on. Back. Okay. Making me nervous. <laughs> grenade launcher. Got a grenade launcher, too. I don't know if that's a good idea for uh, challenge runs. The cranial discharge. Says you, I'm taking, taking that, that grenade, grenade launcher. launcher. <laughs> oh no, I am too. <laughs> what could go wrong? Uh, I'm sorry in advance, Hunter. I'll pick y'all up. Thanks. Ooh, wait, I want that sword. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy that. There's nothing sadder than getting offered mud bath and you have no slime. No, I got it last room. I'll take some slime resistant armor. That doesn't sound so bad. Uh, Alright, fish field. I start stacking that, that force field damage. I got me one too.
<laughs> Helps if I am weak. <laughs> so there's a um, some new items that can pop up in the kiosk now. Oh well, actually, uh, yes, but you have to unlock them first. Okay. Yeah, we didn't talk about that whole thing. Yeah, we should probably start with that. Um, so you might have noticed if you were here at the beginning of the stream when Brian was clicking through the hero hit list that there's a bartender entry. Um, the uh, bartender is in the hit list, not because you can't fight him, uh, but um, he'll have special tasks for you to do that are really boss related at all um, and not power related for unlocking new weapons and items. Uh, to drop on your end. This is the first update that we're introducing that. Uh, do we want to go into the specifics of those um, items, or...? Yeah, might as well, because I'm not picking one up here shortly. Um, yeah, so they're all... Um, if you could notice by the uh, name of the update, it's the Pistol Party Update. Um, Kind of so, that one away a little bit. A little bit, get, giving the game away. Um, <laughs> it's all about pistols. All Making about pistols, pistols more fun. Yeah, so before, um, the only pistols we had were the, the pistol, um, the commander, and the peacemaker. Um, but now, um, there are five new pistols. Um, Going up from, uh... oh my god, there's so many enemies. Oh! One second. Oh no. Go ahead and keep talking about pistols, Gwen. <laughs> yeah, as I walk into all of them. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I used all my uh, my bullets to blow those dudes up. I think I'm going to ditch my shotgun and just have a grenade launcher and a social charge. Oh my god. Yeah, for the aliens, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the shotgun wasn't doing... Say, I just killed one with my with my satchel charge. Don't question me. That was a really good shot. <laughs> Oh boy. Right, we, we, don't, we don't have to kill these guys, do we? Have to is such a strong word. They're, they, they, they're, they're filled with delicious points. Um, I think there's a couple guys that spawn up here. Ooh. I need some armor. Oh, now we killed them already. Um. Yeah, so there are, um, <laughs> um, there will be, um, just for you, Hunter, um, yeah, so there is, um, uh, two new pistols in the threat level two band, um, and three new pistols in the threat level three band, um, so most of them come in a little bit later um, and are pretty cool. I, I don't really want to spoil what they do because they're they're pretty fun. Oh, cool. I just got one. Which one did you get? Plasma. Yeah, the plasma pistol. That one's fun. Um, and in addition to those, um, in addition to those five new pistols, there's also five new items um, that you can get in the kiosk that you also unlock through the bartender in the hit list. Um, Um, four of those are specifically pistol related, so they're a way to like scale your pistols uh, into the late game. Uh, and one of them uh, makes um, loot barrels give you more credits. Here, check this out, Ryan. Plasma bird. Ooh, that is a beautiful looking pistol right there. One of the shiny new ones. This is what I got. Got shotgun turret. I have a laser turret. I don't have a turret. Shotgun turret and satchel charges. Because I like to 
hit things with my big old sword. Phrasing. Hey, I just, I just, I just saw a, a small army like beam in right in front of me. They were having a very important meeting. And you just broke it up. Yeah. You're welcome. Meetings are the worst. <laughs> I book like all the meetings. That you're there. Anybody doing uh, bursting or spraying? I realize that I want if I want to go for nine uh, nine Xenos, I probably need to focus on uh, not take any other colors. But there's a. I'll take it. Okay. There's loot. I'll catch up. Loot! Don't leave uh, it behind. Yeah. It's a good one. Chilling spray. Oh, I already had chilling spray. Whoops. Now you have it twice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, that wasn't good. Oh my gosh, there's guys everywhere. Get out of there. Fall back. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm down. I got you. Oh, ow. That hurt. Murmurs everywhere. So many murmurs. Ah. I should have taken sticky resistance earlier. I thought I wouldn't need it. I got my overdrive, so when we pop this last one, I can go take care of the Mega Pustule. Oh, ow, if I live! Here's another good one precision damage. Hook me up with any explosive or shotgun damage. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh. All right, healers. Healers, two of oh. them. Not sure there's precision damage over here. I'll take that. Oh crap! I'm out of ammo. Yeah. Oh yeah, extra juice. I'm coming, I'm coming. There you go. Now get to the extraction point. Gotta go fast. Come on, I'm coming. Please. All right, the next boss is, is Overmind. Yeah. Alright, we can do it. Overmind on Offworld, that's a little different. It's, uh, he's it's hard tough. here. It's really tough. Ooh. Um, oh, sticky resistant armor, speaking of. Reload speed kit, don't mind if I do. Those are actually all good. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more. Go ahead and grab, uh, oh no, I need a little bit more armor repair station. That sounds like a good time. I'm dropping my shotgun turret for a plasma shotgun. Uh, Y'all might want to buy some armor, too. Yeah. Um... Oh, 
call. Good call. I don't want bold stuff. Ah. Um. All right, I got seven Xeno powers. It's getting close. Okay, if we die to him quickly, we'll have enough time to try again. That's just like, just just a uh, coward talk. Maybe that shouldn't be the attitude, but this is really hard. <laughs> Yeah, but I have I have Xeno Jump now, so you oh, know. we'll be fine now. <laughs> I can I can bounce. This is this is the key secret. Just gonna jump right on his head, right? I do not. Okay, I definitely recommend that we go up to the van vantage point because otherwise it's really hard to dodge his stuff in this. Uh, Run away is, is what you're suggesting. Yeah, I'm saying run away. Yeah. Okay. So Brown's gonna melee him. I, I've Ow. got I've got satchel charges. That's all I need. Can you throw that high? Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's been getting him up there. Yeah, it's like a whoa. Um, it's like a what is it called? It's like anti-air munitions oh, or whatever. Those fireballs, there's lots of them, they hurt. Come on, shotgun turret. Do work. Come on, fucker. All my armor's already gone. My, my gear is worthless against the little guys. <laughs> oh no, slimes. Fireballs everywhere. Come on, one more. There's so many little guys! So close, so close, you got this, come on. Oh! <laughs> Ew. Oh man. Alright, phase one done. Can we clear those little guys? <laughs> yeah, I think we got it. Oh. This was a good strategy. Oh man, so close to death. Ow. It hurt. <sighs> So many little guys. Oh my god, I just walked into slime. <laughs> god. Oh. oh god, he got oh, three. That's a lot of little guys. He's up here now. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mind them loose. <laughs> Alright, over my Oh no, I'm down. I'm down. Oh, here. No. I'm gonna try to claw crawl, crawl you, to save me. I got you. I got the little guys, Hunter. Ugh. I got a slime scrap issue here I'm dealing with, sorry. Oh my so god, so many guys. little guys. <laughs> the sky is filled. I'm out of ammo. Oh, uh, ammo up here. So many guys. Oh my god. Now you just have to survive the underbounds. I feel like my saucer oh, charges help. are like sort of slowly. There you go. We're doing no, it. Not always. <laughs> I have a rail gun. My laser I... turret is being a very good helper. Oh, there's like a hundred of them over that way. Just don't go over there. <laughs> just fall in the other direction, right? You're fine. <laughs> Uh... All right. Look at all the ammo on the ground. Holy crap! I need it all. <laughs> oh Ooh, yeah! Look launching. at all this. Woo. Oh, don't get shot at. Ow! I just want the rocket launcher, and then I'll leave. Now that seems for sure like an appropriate amount of undermines to be spawning. <laughs> Ow. No issue. No issue at all with that. They so much. Where? Where there's is? RPG. Oh, there's an RPG. That's what I need. Ow! Oh, oh my god! A lot of slimy. Where guys. did they come from? All right, here we go. 
Get out of here. Anybody need the kingbird? Ooh, yes, I do. Yeah. Have kingbird or a uh, railgun. Oh. oh my yeah, god, we did I'll, it, guys. I'll take the kingbird then. Um, okay. I got a railgun for you. Want to swap with uh, that mag? Yeah, system? yeah. I, I just put a pistol down here. There you go. There you go. You. Don't forget the clock is still running too. Uh, oh crap! I forgot challenge run. Yeah. Challenge run. <laughs> For twenty minutes, we suck. You're good. It's just that the overmind. Oh, okay, they're still flying, down. guys. Let's just leave. Ow, my knees. Okay. I don't feel like my slime resistant armor really helped me that much. <laughs> hey, we did it. I thought for sure we were gonna die. I never doubted it. We almost did. It's a little close. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, ooh, medical station. That's good. Um, auto damage kit. Somebody wants that. I'm gonna take like twenty dollars. I don't need auto damage. Oh. Fields. It won't give me a Zeno. Ooh, hunting blinds. You have rerolls? I used my one reroll. Alright, I'm gonna go with another overdrive ability. When in doubt. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Stacking overdrive feels good. That's a pretty meta strat right now. Alright. Nobody's taking that? Alright. No, it's all yours. Wait, we can't get any more kills. Nobody's using auto weapons, but... This is a smash we have to go uh, some of the new items. Um, but there's also some changes to some of the powers. Forest, bolts, and ice cubes. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah. So, forest powers got a little bit of love, um, particularly for Stash. Um, so the, um, the uh, force field um, created by Force Stash now persists. It doesn't like disappear immediately. Um, so now you can kind of use it a little bit more effectively as a mobile barrier, whereas like the melee one is more like a setup um, barrier, but they both last the same amount of time. Um, it also makes it easier to trigger. Um, it makes it easier to trigger some of the different force powers that require your force fields to break. Previously, it was really hard to actually break the force dash force field. Um, the other big thing is just uh, the force fields are a lot more reliable about blocking different types of things, particularly mega pustule lasers and pustules. Um, The, uh, the Mega Pestles used to be able to shoot through the barriers, uh, and they can't do that anymore. Um, there's some other like quality of life things with Force Powers, like they're a little bit more transparent, especially when you're aiming, so you can actually see through them. But, uh, yeah, that's it for Force Powers. Um, Ice Hands, um, Ice Hands was just... Ow. Um, Ice Hands had a few bugs with it that was making it not always apply its damage and its chill effects. Ice Hands sucked. Let's just, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a lot better now. It's yeah. reliably dealing the damage. It um, no longer sucks. Yeah. So, Ice Hands is good. Get Ice Hands again, y'all. Yeah, give it a second shot. Then you can tell me if it still sucks and, and we'll look at it. Um, but, like, there was the damage problem, but then there was also, um, some tweaking with like adjusting the angle at which you needed to be to spawn the ice sheet. So now you don't have to be looking down. You just have to be looking forward. Um, it won't make the ice sheets if you look up, but 
as long as you're looking more or less forward, it'll um it'll make those ice sheets for you to skate around on. Um What was the other thing? It was Volt Volt Dash. Volt Dash. With the damaging object. Oh yeah, Volt Dash uh, now damages um, objects like generators or revolt when he's meditating. Um, previously it didn't do that. It's not a ton of damage, so I don't know if it's really going to move the needle. Um, but it does it. You know? So that's cool. Oh man, I got another extra juice. So many turrets. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Getting close to the end. We're doing really good. You are, I'm proud of us. We were uh, talking beforehand, stressing about uh, Overmind, but oh, clearly a pushover. I don't know why anybody has trouble with that boss. <laughs> <laughs> more fireballs, we got more lucky. undermines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's spawn twice as many slime scrap. Um, can I have a force power, please? Please? All I want for Christmas? Damn it. Okay. Um, I'm excited to see uh, how high a scores the community can get uh, in three-player mode. Yeah. So, uh, it's it's it, it, that was kind of actually an interesting or challenging design problem to solve. Like how how we how to deal with uh, three players versus one player. Did we explain how that's going to work? Uh, I don't think we have explained it. Um, so basically. Do you want to explain it? Uh, sure. So basically the way it works is, uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly, um, is that like you are competing for a position on the leaderboard. Yeah, you can tell me if I've got this right. So you're competing for a position on the leaderboard. And whatever position you end up with that is the highest um, across any one of the three uh, SKUs is like essentially what you get credit for. Does that sound right? Um, well, I guess, like, the preface, we've, you're split up by squad. So there's right. a three-player leaderboard, a two-player leaderboard, and a one-player leaderboard. So if you're only one person, you don't have to compete against three people because there are more AI in a three-player game versus a one-player game. Um, that We tried to figure out ways to address that, like, scoring discrepancy, but we couldn't figure out a good way. Um, yeah, it's, it, fair in all circumstances. And if you're if you are in like the top twenty five in any of those SKUs, you will basically get credit for being in the top twenty five percent. Yeah, you just have to get in, in one of them. Um, so that gives a little bit more options if you sort of like like to play more of a support role. Oh, oh no. no. Not the slime What strat. have I done? Got you. I'm alive! Uh, Thank you. Um, I think what we are doing as well is the challenge emblem. I think the challenge emblem you can get. Now, now I want to. Now I want to get Diana in here and make sure that I'm not saying the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> but I believe that the challenge emblem, uh, you do get credit for it on each leaderboard. So if you score in three leaderboards, um, you would increase your challenge emblem by three. I think. 
Oh man. So there is an incentive to show off and try to get on the top of everything. Yeah, but the the, the cosmetic yeah. thing you only need to get. Um, I love these encounters that's... where there's like just a bazillion exploders. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Just an army of them running by. Um explosive damage, don't mind if I do. Alright. Oh, dang it. I just want to stomp on you. I still don't have a jump power. Be shooting me from across the map. Let's go kill him. We're at 26 minutes so far. We are doing so bad. 100 kills. Well, you might not be able to fit in the second run, so you gotta... Yeah, this is um, the one. Yeah. This is the one, guys. We weren't expecting to do this well. Even Speak for yourself. Keeps throwing those jabs in there. 26 minutes, by the way, you guys. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, you're real helpful, CG. Stream. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can finish this one and then, like, super speed run another one, I think. You, so you think we can super speed run? All right, 26 minutes? Oh boy. Well, for the second one. Ow, 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 ow. distracted with the kills and the loot. There we go. Kills and loot is the best part of the game. Okay, uh, let's not try to kill the heartburn. Yeah, for sure. Ow, Don't ow, kill ow, 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 ow. Let them be distracted by my clones. Uh oh. Excuse me. Okay. Got it. Good? Good. Get out of there. Let's go. Hey. Got this. Try to keep up. There's so many Xenos. Yeah, my max Xeno count is 17 now. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. That was shotgun. I'm sorry. Mistake. Uh, payday doesn't really help, but Urbanite does. Oh boy. Um, yeah, alright, I like those. Oh, yes. I got that thing that lets you smack a uh, an, an exploder and not take damage from his explosion. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm topped off on armor. And, uh, Brian, you probably want to. Uh, refill some armor. Dash. No! Uh, one force power short of the nine force power goal. Dang. Oh, is this it? Is this the growth? Are we there? Yeah, we're there. Right. Oh, crap. Alright. What comes out of this? This is what the new... Oh, I should have... <laughs> Dang it, I should have cleaned off my slime. Is there anything oh, in the ATM? On. I've got some money. I've got some money. How much, how much does it cost? 25 cred. Should be 25. Need 9 more. <clears throat> oh, wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love that armor. Let's go. You got this. All right. It's growth time. I believe. <laughs> um, did we make him harder this month, or was that last month? Uh, ooh, I, I don't think we. I don't. Well, remember. so I, his laser's harder. Yeah, um, he like shoots you even if you're real far away. Not right. Yeah, I increased the range of his laser, but I don't remember if that was this patch or if that's going to be this update or if it was the previous one. I think it was this one. I think we did that like right after we sent out the last one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's another new thing. Convenient timing. Okay, I'm gonna focus on little floating possible things. I've got a rail gun. Right. Oh boy. Oh wow, these plus rules are tough. Oh man. That laser, that's what I was saying, I got Ooh. you. 
Do you get me? Yeah, don't use the self revive. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Ooh! Okay. So, note to self stay out of the way of the big laser, apparently. Yeah, laser, laser tough. Ow. Ow, 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 back of his right elbow. Back of his right elbow. Nice. Pop. Whoa. Um. Oh, that laser. Um. Oh, uh, uh ankle. ankle. Nice. All right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. It's really scary when he goes into the punch where you're standing. Um. All right. We've got two more. Oh, chest. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, chest is down. One more. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm alive. Oh, just barely. Okay. I need ammo. Is there any ammo on the ground anywhere? Oh, I think I see some. Where we at? Oh, Brian! Ah! <laughs> I had to get my Bye, ammo. It's on his thigh. Bye. Going in. Back, in. back of the right thigh. I can't do anything with that. I'll shoot bullets. Oh, no. I'll run out of ammo. and get lasered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did it. I think we're going to get, an, you know, probably the best three-player score that's ever been scored. Ever. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was a great run. Earth saved. Oh, that's what you it. like to see. Oh, sorry it took us so long, CG. Hey, no. I'm I'm glad you guys did great. <laughs> Look at all that blue. You're talking about multiple runs. I'm just saying, if you want to try again. 42. You gotta go fast. 42. Oh, no one's getting that emblem. Let's it, go. Community. That, that, <laughs> that emblem belongs to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow holy crap hunter you carried we're gonna save that emblem for our christmas card no one else will ever see it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Whoops. okay so since you guys uh won't be getting the emblem i guess i should show you all what it looks like again <laughs> so you can see what you're missing out on <laughs> so here's the cool emblem um if you happen to be able to beat the dev score of 42,097 points on a three-player challenge run, then uh, you will be able to earn this emblem. So that challenge will go live on Monday after the update comes out. You can do it. I believe in you guys. Look at all these levels. I, I, did, it, I did it with the angel food cake taking 35% extra damage. So, you know. Yeah, uh, how many times did you get down? <laughs> <laughs> I may have died the more than anyone else. I've got hero hit list stuff to claim. Next. Oh, yeah, hero hit list. That's a good thing to go. Um... Yeah, let's throw the bartender stuff. Yeah. All right. Oh, beating the growth. Get me that heat vision. All right. Ooh, okay, so I get to <laughs> I got the 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 task to talk to the bartender, giving me money barrels. Kill ten scraps with pistols in a single run. Hey, I got fifteen Xenos, so I unlocked all these new Xeno builds. Well, this will make it easier to get nine Xenos at once. Mm -hmm. I guess I just needed to do this first. Ooh, and Armor Eater, one of my faves. Okay. 
Ooh, and I get to reveal Overmind. You get all the stuff. You get hypothermia. Yeah. I'm so close to already having gotten 18 different firepowers. Defeat the growth. I did that. Now I get heat vision. Another one of my favorites. Well, I didn't manage to get spray or blast this time. Next time. Or nine of one power. The nine of one power is tough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. CG, we got to shotgun through the last things on the agenda. What else do we have to talk about? Um, just updates and bug fixes. Other updates. Did we have, um, do we want to look at the character changes that went in? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I don't think we talked we about that skip over that one. Just kidding. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, also, Brian, you need to reset your skills. I know. I just, I just yeah, noticed. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. what are my skills doing? <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah, so that, that's Fallout from uh, Ronan. So Ronan got um, a couple of things. Basically, it, for people who were around for the sharpshooter update, um, Nomad kind of had a pass on making a lot more interesting decisions in the later part of her skill tree. Um, and that's kind of what we did with Murmur and Ronan this time as well. Um, so that involves like removing skills that are effectively duplicates uh, and also taking things that um, are more like niche to your build and making them more optional. Um, so uh, on um, Ronan, Ronan got two new skills, um, a home mechanic, um, which sort of shifted Thorn uh, payback down the tree. Um, so if you can find that one, right? Yeah. Home, home mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Um, home mechanic makes armor pickups drop at the bar. Um, so that's a, that's a good way to keep armor up for yourself and also for your teammates. Um, and thorns now got moved towards the middle branch and is an optional thing for you to take, um, as part of your build. Um, and then the other thing that replaced, uh, hardhead, um, hardhead two rather. Um, so that's in the bottom, the bottom uh, branch of the tree. You can find it. It's uh, back to the fight. Yeah. Oh wait, you were over it. Back to the fight. Back to the fight. In the last right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So back to the fight um, makes armor pickups better, and also makes armor pickups give you some overdrive charge. So that's a way for Ronin to sort of um, gain overdrive a little bit faster. Um, I know there was a lot of talk about. Um, Murmur gaining overdrive really fast, um, which uh, was mostly attributed, I think, to her um, skill that made her generate overdrive charge faster. Um, so with this, um, Ronan's got an option for gaining overdrive a little bit faster. Um, yeah, those are the changes to Ronan. Do you want to hop over to Murmur and we can look at Murmur's new st skills? Yeah. Uh, so on Murmur, um, the big ones is uh, Quick Recovery. Uh, quick Recovery was in two skills. There's Quick Recovery 1 and Quick Recovery 2. Um, and uh, they both capped out at uh, giving you plus 60% armor regen. Um, that felt a little bit like a lot. Um, a lot of skill points to invest in 60% uh, situational armor regen. So those got combined into a single skill that caps at 50% armor regen. Um, it's uh, it's the entrance to um, the bottom uh, branch. Oh wait, there you go. Um, yeah, so that now can't that now um, that now caps at 50% um, uh, on its own. So it's a little bit weaker um, total, but it's three less skill points that you have to spend. Um, what replaced that earlier in the tree is um, surprise attack. Um, if you go over to surprise attack, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, whenever you create a hologram, you get a damage buff. Um, 
This one is, is pretty new, it's pretty fresh. Um, it might need a little bit of tweaking to get into the right place, but I think the, the feeling of uh, creating a hologram, getting a damage boost and like capitalizing on that hologram is, uh, is, is pretty fun and nice. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, and then the other quick recovery um, got replaced with a new skill called Refreshed. Um, close, close, close. <laughs> Maybe. We need a way to switch screens so I can just go through them. We don't have to play like the hot and cold game. Right, there it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Refreshed is an overdrive, um, charge gaining skill. Uh, basically whenever you trigger quick recovery, you get a little bit of overdrive charge. Um, so it's a little bit extra incentive to be, um, to be triggering that, um, to be triggering that quick recovery a lot more, um, and get rewarded for it. Um, keeping in with like getting your overdrive up, uh, pretty often. Um, the other big thing that happened here is that, um, Quick Recovery displaced Lalo. Um, Lalo is a really fun skill. It means that you can keep your armor up all the time, but it felt wrong to make that be like the gateway into the defensive tree. Um, so now Lalo is an optional skill on the mid branch. Um, it's right after explosive exit. Yeah, there it is. Um, so that's just, that's how things kind of moved around a little bit um, to, to give you a little bit more build options um, and not have to take something that has this negative aspect if you don't want to, but it's still pretty quickly available if you do, and that combos nicely with second win. Um, I think those are all of the character updates. Pretty cool. Yeah, sorry that was kind of long-winded. No, I, I mean, well, I like... I. I... <laughs> I feel like uh, it's it just scratches the surface of of how long game designer we as game designers sit around and talk about, and then plus two to this one little ability it changes everything. <laughs> it feels kind of like a magic cards or Dungeons and Dragons, two of my favorite things. So, yeah. Um, is there anything else of note to go over with the patch note, CG? We got like a couple minutes left. Yeah, there's just uh, the weapon update to Grenade Launcher, and then some of the other like community things that they've mentioned that ended up uh, making their way into the other updates and bug fixes. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a small change to the Grenade Launcher. Um, it had automatic firing, um, but it wasn't labeled as an automatic weapon. Um, that wasn't really how we intended you to use the Grenade Launcher, so now it's just a semi-automatic. Um, the Grenade uh, Launcher was like one of our very oldest weapons that we built, and I think it I think when we originally started prototyping, everything was full auto. Like you could press down the trigger and it would just fire. Uh, and we we added manual as a feature like slightly after that and then never changed it. And it kind of goes to show that the grenade launcher lived kind of unexamined and unchanged in large parts for a very, very long yeah. time. <laughs> like there's nothing to fix about this thing. It's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I um, like it. You, you, you don't like uh, you don't like. Uh, do you self kill yourself with the grenade launcher a lot? Every single time. Every <laughs> single time. That's because you don't have the explosive skills. I have to be real far away from everything. <laughs> you have, you're like sniper all the way. For sure. Uh, CG, did uh, anyone have any? comments or questions they, they put in the chat that uh, we want to address here in this last minute or so. Is anyone even watching this thing? Is this yeah. just a meeting? We've got... or is... <laughs> yeah, we've got some more hardcore players that are here and they're really excited about the uh, the challenge mode. They're already coming up with who their partners are going to be and some strategy and stuff like that. So uh, good That's to awesome. see you all here. Um, other than that, actually, uh, the, a lot of the questions that came up, you all answered while you were playing through. Uh, there were some community things that you have brought up to us over the past like couple months or so. And some of those things are actually getting addressed in this update. Things like uh, the HUD curve, you wanted to be able to have a way to turn that off. And that's gonna be um, in this next update, you'll be able to turn off controller haptic feedback uh, in, the game, in the gameplay settings as well. As mentioned earlier with the 
mega pustule lasers. Um, so that's not going to be going through stuff, and it's going to be a lot more accurate now. There was some various issues with ice hands, as Gwen mentioned, uh, that y'all brought up in the Discord, and those are, are going to be taken care of in this update. And uh, there was also a bug with Overshield where it was not uh, resetting visually sometimes in between runs, and that's going to be taken care of as well. So thank you all for joining our Discord and, and letting us know about these issues and giving your feedback. It's super helpful. Yeah, thanks, everybody. This is a this is an exciting update. I, I'm really excited to get it out there and see how you guys all both do co-op. Uh, the 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 co-op challenge runs. It really does add a new dimension to the strategy. And then the pistol update is really fun. So everybody who worked on the pistol update, it's awesome. Adds a little depth to awesome gun types. So that's great. So that's it for time. Uh, Check out our uh, Twitter and social on Monday because I will be posting when the challenge is live and when you, you can all try to beat their score. They got a score of 42,000. See if you can beat that and challenge mode goes live. Thank you all for joining us and we will see you next time. Thanks everybody.